It has been very uh, interesting, exciting experience so far uh, with Linauro. Um, I have been part of this Android engineering team and as you know, the focus is mainly on the mobile segment and um, uh, as we know that mobile is moving very fast and it's, it's really challenging for us to really uh, maintain and uh, keep uh, going with the same pace as uh, the mobile moves and really it has been a very exciting uh, experience and uh, uh, at Linaro like you get to work with uh, so many member uh, engineers and the Linaro engineers who are like uh, best in this industry and uh, it's really exciting so far. Android development at Linaro has always been really interesting even though it changed quite a bit. I mean now we, uh, we are pretty much sure what we have to do but in the early days uh, we were a bunch of Linux people. Most of us uh, didn't have any experience with Android before. So at first we were trying to figure out how this thing works and uh, what we can do to make it better. And we started by getting it to compile with the tool chains uh, that Linux has always released for in the regular Linux world and by looking at how Android is different from regular Linux but also how it is similar what optimizations that we had already done on regular Linux could be merged into Android and where we would have to do something completely new. Other than just doing those optimizations, uh, one of the main tasks is uh, keeping up with new upstream releases. Just today 4.4 has come out and we are planning to build a Linux release based on that, hopefully within the next week. ARM is actually uh, as a processor, as, is uh, as a core entering into multiple uh, new areas like uh, enterprise networking and so on. Uh, so Linaro with its nature of the way it is organized, it is uh, very important for Linaro to actually focus on those areas as well. But given that, the focus for mobile has not changed at all and it is the, on day by day basis we are c uh, continuously improving the focus that we are uh, supposed to give to mobile and uh, as part of this connect actually we have, we are forming the mobile subcommittee which will ac actually focus on the problems of mobile and uh, where exactly, uh, like for example we want to make sure that Android on latest uh, ARM processors is uh, running uh, as expected to, and helps all our members to get into production as quickly as possible. We are looking at the current core uh, ARM cores that are there in the market today and making sure that Android is uh, improving and uh, we, we want to make sure that you know, all the latest and uh, latest kernel versions are available and, and all the latest Android AOSP releases are available for our members. So and a lot of uh, optimizations and customizations we want to bring into Android uh, as part of Android engineering at Linaro. So our executive committee in Linaro is very excited about mobile and they are really focusing on mo mobile uh, segment. So it, the focus is really on and uh, we are still, uh, we are going very aggressive on mobile. Traditionally, the, as we see the Android development, uh, so uh, uh, what, what basically happens is uh, um, I, I, Google works with um, one of their core partners and um, the OEM and ODMs and they actually pick one processor and one OEM ODM and they actually develop complete Android solution for that particular processor. And then they actually go and announce the public and then they make the source code uh, public and it goes into AOSP and everyone picks it for other hardwares. So and then the semiconductor providers generally focus on uh, hardware entitlement and then OEMs, ODMs are always busy in getting the uh, processor and uh, getting their device into market as quickly as possible. So not much focus is really spent on uh, customizations, optimizations, benchmarking and profiling uh, in Android. So. Um, therefore, we uh, and as we understand at Linaro, like optimizations and uh, um, profiling and benchmarking is actually a commodity which uh, which actually can uh, be shared across all the members. So we actually want to spend a lot of time in really optimizing uh, Android. Uh, so therefore, we have taken this task of optim optimizing Android for all these uh, existing ARM core uh, processors. One of the things that you will notice right away is that most uh, handset makers tend to focus on things that are immediately visible to the user, like they improve the user interface or they modify some applications that the user will immediately see. 
I mean, when you take a Samsung mobile and a Sony mobile, you can immediately tell which is which because of their customizations. But they focus on those bits, and those bits are not actually what we are working on. We are more interested in making sure that those improvements can stand on a solid base by making sure that all the core libraries are as optimized as they can be, uh, and that all the underlying code, like the kernel, is uh, done in the same fashion. And we make sure that things can always be compiled with the latest compilers, which may not be all that interesting to an end user, but in the end it just speeds things up and therefore just gives you a faster user experience and also helps save battery power because the CPU can re-enter sleep mode a lot earlier. Another part is, as Kazim has already pointed out, the upstream Android generally tends to focus on one device. So for example, the Nexus 5 has just come out and it, uh, that's a Snapdragon, so there's a pretty good chance that they will have a lot of optimizations specifically for Snapdragon. And one of our tasks is to make sure that it will work equally well on Cortex-A15 and also some future upcoming hardware. As we see, like uh, there are more than 140 different repositories in Android today, so uh, it's really uh, challenging for us to focus on each and every aspect of uh, Android. So the way we want to focus is like uh, take all important use cases, understand like what are the typical use cases which are very important for Android and focus on those optimization areas. And uh, we don't want to go into kernel because kernel is actually uh, g gets optimized at multiple levels. So bootloader and kernel, we want to we don't want to go into those. We want to pick Android middleware and uh, and really go and focus on the Android middleware components. First, under understand the top use cases, then understand the different 140 repositories that we want to go after, and then want to focus mainly from the user experience point of view and. Uh, so we want to limit the focus to Android middleware, toolchain, compilers, and uh, um, mainly on the uh, application side, not on the kernel and uh, bootloader side. So we want to continue focusing on uh, uh, only the middleware components. The way we want to approach is like uh, there is a lot of uh, activity and research and benchmarking and profiling which has already gone into Android. So we want to start off from there instead of reinventing ourselves in terms of profiling and benchmarking. So as I see like in each Android conferences there are a lot of papers presented and uh, many guys have already re researched the topics on what kind of optimizations we can do whether it is IO optimization, if it is bionic optimization, Dalvik optimization, compiler and toolchain optimization. So each of these areas have been identified identified we, we have cornered that this this has to be improved but we are not really spending the engineering cycles on that so we don't want to go into researching these topics but we want to start from where uh, someone has ended and has not taken it forward the kind of expertise we have in Linaro and in, with our members this is quite easy for us to pick this challenge instead of uh, somebody else in the community picks it So there are several key, uh, key areas, some of which are really directly related to what Linaro is doing. For example, Bionic, which is the libc implementation, basically an implementation of the, all the basic functions, has some room for optimizations that will just make every application benefit. And then there's several other core libraries, for example, there's a couple of file formats that are commonly used, like JPEG and PNG for images, and Linaro has already optimized the, uh, the libraries that are generally used to uh, load those images to make use of features of newer ARM CPUs, such as Neon and VFP version 3, and those can be merged into Android. Then there's definitely lots of improvement in Dalvik, which is the virtual machine that runs all of the Java bits for Android. And there's also some external things like toolchains, compilers, that, uh, that can really help make things better by just making sure that the good code that is already there gets translated into better assembly code. And actually one thing we are also doing here is 
people who want to write native machine code on Android have to use the tool that is called the NDK, Native Development Kit, that so far comes out of Google, but starting last month we have started making Linaro NDK releases that are essentially the same thing, but with the upstream GCC compiler replaced with the Linaro version of GCC that should simply generate better code without requiring the user to do anything other than just installing this NDK. I have some applications compiled uh, with the Linaro NDK here. For example, this mapping application uses the NDK heavily. Then there's Qt, which is a very commonly used widget set on regular Linux uh, that can now also be used on Android, and it already compiles with the Linaro NDK. Actually, there are a lot of key challenges for us to uh, get into to this Android uh, optimization space. Um, the first of uh, the first challenge that I can think of is like, uh, uh, as, as as we know, as we said just now, that there are there are quite a few areas to focus on. We need to identify which are the low hanging ones and just, just try to fix those things. Plus also we need to work closely with uh, Google and our members to really understand if the, the kind of optimization that we are picking, whether it, Google has already implemented it or some members have already implemented it. So therefore there should be a lot of collaboration that should go in between members, uh, Google engineers and us. So uh, th these are quite a few challenges, but but, but we have uh, clear plans on how we are going to execute this. So uh, we, we just want to take one step at a time and first identify the right tools that we want uh, and then identify the right profiling tools that we want to pick and benchmarking tools we want to pick and then uh, go for, as I said, that collaborate with all the members and uh, uh, Google engineers to understand what level of optimization can be done in each uh, area that we have identified and then go uh, address each uh, one by one. For us, there, we actually focus on two different uh, areas in Android engineering at Linaro. One is like focusing on the upcoming processors and then also the optimization thing. So we need to balance between these two so we can't drop our uh, the latest technologies that we are working with versus the Android optimization thing. So that's another challenge, like having engineers working on both of these uh, is is really a challenge for us as well. So, but we, as I said, like we have a plan and we have good support from all our members and there is a good support from our executive uh, team in Linaro. So I think it's quite possible to make this happen within a short period of time. If you really want the very latest updates, it's probably best to just look at code and go to android.git.linaro.org, which is where all of our development lives. Then the next thing is our mailing lists, which is where you can actually talk to the developers and see what uh, developers are saying to each other. Then there's the Linaro blog and Linaro's Twitter channels. People should really follow those to keep track of what Linaro is doing. And of course, there's the Linaro Connect conferences three times a year. And other than that, something you might want to do is just uh, identify some individual engineer who is working on a project where you care about and follow that guy on Google Plus or Facebook or wherever he keeps his personal things. Okay. <laughs>